Four Views Few hours after the Nigeria Chief of Army Staff, Major General Farouk Yahya visited operational commands in Monguno and Damaturu on Saturday and ordered troops to destroy all terrorists enclave in the northeastern Nigeria, Boko Haram carried out an offensive attack on Sunday killing two soldiers with some others wounded. Nigerian army said he lost two soldiers in the Sunday attack but killed 12 Boko Haram terrorists with many of them fleeing with bullet wounds. Nigerian army in statement signed by Brigadier General Oniema and Wachuku, the director of army public relations and made available to the press few hours ago said. Troops of 152 Task Force Battalion in conjunction with the air component of Operation Hadeen Kai on Sunday 27 of June, 2021 dealt a devastating blow on marauding Boko Haram and Islamic State West Africa Province, ISWAP, while attempting to infiltrate the forward operational base at Bula Yobi in Borno State. Picture shows items recovered from Boko Haram terrorists after the Sunday gun battle with men of the Nigeria soldiers. Photo, Nigerian Army The terrorists, who came mounted on gun trucks and several motorcycles attacked the location via an unsuspected crossing point, but were met with heavy volume of fire from the vigilant troops. The land troops, in their usual dexterity swiftly and decisively engaged the terrorists, subsequently forcing them to retreat, having lost initiative. The troops sustained the firefight and successfully neutralized 12 terrorists, with several others fleeing with gunshot wounds. The troops gallantly captured one gun truck, one self-propelled gun 9, one Dushika gun and one mounted QJC machine gun. Other items captured are one light machine gun and five AK-47 rifles. Picture shows Nigeria Chief of Army Staff, Major General Farouk Yahya, seat 5th from left, with troops on Saturday at Monguno, Borno State. Photo, Nigerian Army Sadly, during the encounter two soldiers paid the supreme sacrifice, while five others sustained varying degrees of injury and have been evacuated by the air component of OPHK to a medical facility, where they are currently receiving medical attention. The general area within Fabuliobi is cool and calm under the control of troops of the battalion. Further exploitation by the resilient troops is ongoing. The Chief of Army Staff, Major General Farouk Yahya has lauded the land troops and the air component for their synergy and quick response, which is in tandem with the ongoing rejigging of the counter-terrorism counter-insurgency operations in the Northeast. He charged the troops to maintain the tempo and vehemently hold their ground, to deny the terrorists' freedom of action. Kindly support our vision of building a community of one million Penn soldiers whose successes will be judged based on positive development in the society. Boko Haram kills two soldiers, Army kills 12 hours after Kois Farouk Yahya's visit June 28, 2021. Few hours after the Nigeria Chief of Army Staff, Major General Farouk Yahya visited operational commands in Monguno and Damaturu, Buhari replies Niger Delta Militants June 27, 2021. Demands by Niger Delta Avengers, President Buhari's response. The media was Sunday awash with threats and demands by a group, Adiga, Stop demonizing Chidima Ojuku underscore ex-presidential aide Reno Omokri June 27, 2021. Note, the piece you are about to read represent the personal opinion and view of Reno Omokri and Osazuwa Akanido did, Chidima Ojuku must pay the price over the death of Super TV CEO Yusufo Adiga underscore June 27, 2021. Note, the piece you are about to read represent the personal opinion and view of Femi Fani Coyote and Osazuwa Akanido did, Emo State Government to Compensate Businesses Destroyed by Unknown Gunman June 27, 2021. Emo State Governor, Hope Uzodima has said the state will set up committee to consider compensation for the people whose